From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk, here's Jack Bernie. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. After two thrilling wins, the Terre Haute North girls soccer team finds themselves in the sectional championship. The Patriots looking to advance to regionals as they took on sectional host Bloomington South. Patriots trailed at 2-0 at halftime, so they would need a rally to take home the sectional title. Bloomington South trying to add to the lead as Helena Cutshaw races towards the net, but good defense by Ella Winchell leads to an easy save by Kylie Lloyd to keep the score right where it is. Set piece for the Panthers a little later. Kira Robinson sends one towards the box, but a great defensive play is made by Caroline Gower who heads the ball away to end the scoring threat. The only goal in the second half belonged to Bloomington South. Cat Lacey sent one just past the outreached arms of Lloyd for a goal. Bloomington South beats Terre Haute North 3-0 in the sectional final. Patriots season ends as sectional runner Ups. Northview boys soccer also in action. It's the Knights and the Tiger Cubs for the sectional championship. Northview with several great scoring chances in the first half. Here it's Camden Parkey on the breakaway. He takes a shot that is just wide of the net. Missed opportunity for the Knights right there. Later in the half, another opportunity for Parkey and the Knights. His shot deflects off the top of the crossbar and over the net. Northview and Greencastle were scoreless headed into the, into the halftime break. Second half, Greencastle gets on the board first courtesy of Micah Foss, who sends one past a diving Bobby Stick for the first goal of the contest. Tiger Cubs lead at 1-0. Foss had a hat trick for Greencastle in the game. Later, Greencastle trying to do more damage. Mylon Tucker sends a great ball into the box, but it's Northview keeper Bobby Stick tapping the ball over and out of bounds for a big time save. In the end, it's Greencastle beating Northview 3-0 for their second straight sectional title win over the Knights. To college football now, the Indiana State Sycamores returning to Memorial Stadium for the first time since the season opener. ISU still searching for that first win of the season as they welcomed in the Panthers of Northern Iowa. Late first half, Sycamore's looking to punch it in, and they do just that. Check out the push by the offensive line, imposing their will, allowing Evan Oles to get in on the QB keeper. ISU, they take their first lead of this ball game at 10-7. You and I scored on their final drive of the first half to take a 14-10 lead going into the break. Check out the first play of the second half. Cade Chambers airing the deep ball out. It's caught by Harry Van Dyne, who makes the catch in stride, takes it all the way down to the 23-yard line. Same drive, Chambers. He's going to float one to the end zone. Great catch here by Dakota Caton Sullivan's own in the end zone for the Sycamore touchdown. They regain the lead at 17-14 early in the third quarter. The lead was short-lived, however. Ensuing Panther drive, it's Harrison Baybu taking the handoff. He finds the seam, takes it 26 yards to the house for a touchdown, 137 yards, three scores for him. Northern Iowa grabs the lead right back at 21-17. Fast forward, 33 seconds to go. ISU searching for a game-tying touchdown. Chambers going deep, looking for Van Dyne. The ball is tipped by the defender and picked off by Evan. Evan Dearman to ice the game for you and I. For the second straight week, ISU battles but can't complete the comeback. They fall to the Panthers 27-20. Sycamores drop to 0-5. They travel to Normal, Illinois to take on the Redbirds of Illinois State next week. Some other college football scores to pass along to you. The Rose Holman Fighting Engineers stay perfect in conference play with the big 47-7 road win at Manchester. Miguel Robertson finished with 199 yards and three touchdowns through the air. St. Mary of the Woods College Pomeroy Sprint football team suffer a heartbreaking first loss of the season. 56-50 against Bellarmine in double overtime. Quarterback Jeremiah Toski, what an outstanding game. 419 yards, six touchdowns, but it wasn't enough to bring home the win for the Pomeroys. And finally to the NFL and some big news for the Indianapolis Colts. The star running back Jonathan Taylor signs a three-year, $42 million contract extension to stay in Indianapolis. The deal makes Taylor one of the highest paid backs in the league, and he becomes the first running back to land a long-term contract worth $10 million or more per year since Nick Chubb 2021. The 2021 All-Pro rusher missed the team's first four games of the season, recovering from an ankle injury, but will make his season debut for the Colts tomorrow at Luke Soil Stadium as Indy takes on the Tennessee Titans in an AFC South clash at 1 p.m. That's a wrap for sports. It's the Reynolds Wrap, right after the break.